Alan, you were saying before the match that you haven't been up here as a coach, but that's not a bad start. <laughs> no, no, one from one, and it's good to come somewhere like this. I'm not sure of the history, but I don't think Huns looks won here for a few years, um, and it's always good to come to a place like this and win and show your resolve, and I thought we did that, especially going into the second half, uh, off the back of that try, just on, on the hooter, it could have, it could have... Um, hurt us mentally and I think maybe in the past it would have done but we came out you know we scored first and we kept some score in the second half and that's the most pleasing thing I was just going to ask you about that uh, there's not many teams that will come up here whatever they you know I know we're going into playoffs and so that people might be taking the foot off the gas a little bit but there's not many teams that will come here and keep working to score us for a, a half of a game no no all, not with the quality we've got Duran Forber really good halfbacks experience Holroyd Fell and, and Brown you know just a couple of uh, strikes players to mention so to keep them scoreless and you know there was one in the second half where we scrambled and just stopped them getting a, a dummy half try and disappointing the first half really that we let in two tries on the last tackle one yes we had a man in the bin um, but the other one we should be able to fix that up so there's, there's three tries there that we conceded that you know possibly we, we could have stopped and that's obviously me being picky and with my coaches head on but 40 minutes like you say to, to keep working to um, scoreless pointless it is a great effort and credit to the lads. You know they got a drop out near the end and they, they, they still wanted to chase hard and force the error. And that shows the character of the group and, and the toughness that we're developing. And that first half was a bit topsy turvy because it was you score, we score, you score, we score. Um, and you thought that the second half would, would follow that sort of characteristic, but once you got two scores in front, it really brought the back of the game, I think. Yeah, and it's funny to say, I did actually say that at half time. If we got two in front, I just thought, um, you know, with the form they've been in and, and, and how they were playing, and with our completions as high as they were and our game plan working, I thought that we would, you know, start seeing them maybe force that pass, and they, they, they did start doing things like that, and we stayed disciplined, and, you know, we got, took a couple of penalties and we took our opportunities. and. Um, we always felt if we were in the game in the last 20 minutes and our completions were up, we, we would go through and, and, and win, and, and that's what we did do. When you look at it, all season has been threatening to be a performance, and that was probably the best of the season. Just defensively, everybody seemed tied up, uh, and certainly in that second half, as you say, there was only really one opportunity for Workington, and that went out for a dropout uh, uh, when we scrambled back. I can't remember many other opportunities in that second half. No, and um, like you say, look, you know, obviously I've not been here since the start of the year. From folks have seen, I thought, I thought they played very well at London Scholars when I've, I've watched that back. Um, the two, you know, really tough away games that we've had. Doncaster, I thought we were outstanding. Barrow, we weren't, and today we were very good. And like I say, I think it's his most complete performance. And without, you know, a key player in Vila as well. I thought Harvey did very well. At, at, played full 80 minutes, so there's lots of pleasing aspects about the game, and there's lots of headaches to come for next week. Picking a 17. And you did move the side around a little bit because uh, you know Straff has always been one of those talisman for us, and yet he came off with what 15 minutes to go, something like that, and we're still held out, and it still looked organised, which sometimes it hasn't done throughout the season. That must be getting some confidence throughout the, the actual playing squad. It is, and it's showing the depth. We lost Simon Brown at, at our time, potential broken arm as well, so we lost a sub there. Um, so we did it to a second half, and look, in the past we've, we've took cracks, haven't we, and teams have come back, and that's under my stewardship as, as, as well as before. So um, those players like Straff stepping up, those leaders stepping up, that's what we need, and that's what we need going into playoffs. And let's not get carried away because it's a new competition next week, and we've got to repeat this performance for another four weeks if we want to be where we want to be next season. It's one of those things, though, that confidence is a big builder, isn't it? And so when you've got some momentum and you've got some of the history, you know, as you say, we haven't really performed particularly well up here, or certainly got not the results that we what we needed. Uh, today's performance goes a long way to going into the playoffs. Yeah, hundred percent right, and I like your positivity, and, and I'm the same. You know, we've lost one game in nine, which was at Barrow. There's a couple of draws there that we, you know, potentially we could have won. So. 
I can't not be happy with with the form that we're going into the playoffs with and a tough place to come. There's only Crusaders that's won here, you no know, previous to us this season as well. And like you say, the, the lads are, are buzzing, it'll be a good journey back home now and, and then Tuesday they'll come in, you know, excited for, for next week. You, you know when you've had a good performance when the away supporters go very quiet or are shouting for offsides every two minutes. <laughs> yeah, quite a lot of forward pass calls as well. <laughs> Must have been at a different angle to me, but um, but I thought the match officials were strong today. They, they were. It's, uh, you know, I did say at Barrow, uh, I was a bit disappointed with that and a couple of crowd penalties. I thought he was outstanding today, all three of them. And it is easy just to give that decision when we haven't got you know much noise in here. So uh, you know, all in all, a very pleasing day. Uh, but like you say, new competition next week. We we want to be talking this time next week going on to another week uh, just on that uh, you know we, we've known the, the referee for a good number of years he's been he's been on the circuit he understands the game a little bit more today's game seemed to flow more than some of the others where it's been a lot of stop start and we didn't really get penalised a great deal either today no we played fast he, he gave us a quick rook which we like and that's how we want it interpreted and you know we've had good communication with the, the match officials referees over the last few weeks you know I'm getting up to speed and seeing you know what's expected what's wanted and um, uh, you know he's ref before and I'm probably a bit surprised that he's you know refing at league one level last time's coaching league when he was there and others have kicked on so I'm not sure if that's injuries or work commitments or what because you know I do think he's one of the outstanding officials in this division well, well done I'm looking forward to the journey home I'm not sure <laughs> about my eardrums but we'll see where we go thank you very much no worries thanks